Hey, it's Justin with Seaboard Marine. In this video, we're continuing on the Sea Harvester project. We covered the strut and shaft and the log, and we also got started on the steering system, and we made the through hole for the exhaust. All right, got the rudder shaft set here. So we drilled a hole and bedded that into some Q cell and Cabasil mix. So we've been making some more progress on the fiberglass. Yes, we are. Renee's still working away on that. Still no deck. Still no deck. Pre-made, but we're gonna wait until the last step. In the meantime, it's time to start thinking about the drivetrain, right? That's correct. We're gonna see kind of position with the training kind of where it's gonna go. Okay. Okay, so you set the level at zero. Mm -hmm. Set the level at zero. Then we go here to the, sh to the that's kind of, it's called a dummy shaft, kind of give us that right angle. Right, just a little piece of shaft mounted into the, mounted into the split coupling and then bolted onto or clamped onto the flange. So we're trying to accomplish 12, 12 degrees and that's what we have right now. Okay. And then what about forward to aft? You just kind of set Where, that with enough clearance so you can get in front of the gear? There's a, this is the gear oil pump. So we're gonna stay away from the bulkhead inch and a half. Okay. That's what we like to have. Just a little bit of clearance there. Clearance is that. So now I'm gonna drill a hole, the center of it right here. And here we're gonna go like three and a half inch hole saw. Kind of like that, all the way to here. So when you're doing a, a repower, this is basically the first step. All the engine and everything mounts, everything builds around that, but this yeah. is the basically the pivotal. We're gonna work ourselves to the center. Right, this is the pivotal location right here is this. Correct. So we're cutting the shaft of the sea harvester. Tony likes to order the shafts pre-prepped on one end and then random lengths. So we have an assortment of shafts of different diameters, all prepped with the standard uh, taper for a prop and keyway and prop nut. Okay, so today we're making some custom brackets for the sea harvester. Got my metal clamped into the CNC mill. There's a piece of two by four and a piece of pine there. And that just helps soak up some of the chatter and keep the ringing to a minimum. Okay, so here's the finished product. This one has a little cutout that we did um, to clear something on the transmission. We've got the shaft set on a jack just to kind of get the angle we want, right? Mm -hmm. And a dummy prop, which is a little different than the final prop, but it's just one we have in the yard that we're gonna use to kind of approximate the clearances to the hole, right? This is about, no, this is the right size. It's just, it's gonna be a four blade instead of a three blade. Oh, okay, so the same diameter? Yeah, this is like that. That's the clearances we want right there. Now that we got the shaft pretty much set where we want, it's time to start getting the log and the strut built around the shaft. So I've got the bearing here, but we need a bearing sleeve. Okay, so here's our cutlass bearing. Um, and uh, we need a sleeve for this, for the strut. So this works out to be pretty good. It's a little tight. So we're gonna cut this to length, first of all. About an inch longer than this. And then we'll clean up the outside with the lathe. We'll bore the inside out a little bit with the lathe. We'll taper the ends, and we'll drill some set screws to hold the the bearing in place. Spindle through board is like three and an eighth, and this is a little over, so I can't can't really hold this in the chuck and just like let it hang out here and machine on the end of it without supporting the end of it. So I'm using a, the steady rest here. I got this nice and cleaned up, and I got an inside edge that's clean that I can run on a center. And uh, now I can turn between centers and do my thing on the outside of this thing. The 
Okay, so we got a 45 bevel here cut on one edge of the um, strut sleeve. Here's the finished bearing sleeve. So now we cut out some templates out of usually plywood. We got the uh, belly plates for the V-strut for the um, Sea Harvester. We're actually kind of doing a counter, kind of a cross between a countersink and a counter bore here. Just to sink the heads down in a little bit. It's uh, 3 8 thick so we can't go too deep. But uh, just get them down in there a little bit, and then we kind of smooth around over the top of the bolt heads a little bit, right? Yeah. And uh, now you're gonna polish them up a little bit. Yes. Put the set of screws in the sleeve. <laughs> right? Where? One, two, three. And why do we put set screws in the sleeve? So the bearing doesn't spin inside. <laughs> So here's the completed strut. So we got the shaft set in place with the strut. <clears throat> we got some uh, donuts that we make that hold the shaft in line with the tube. So you got the shaft sitting right where you want it. Mm -hmm. And you know that because you put that block in, that V block, after you have the shaft bolted to the transmission. And then we've got these little donuts that we make that hold the shaft um, true to the tube. So you're gonna lay this up, top and bottom, right? First, I'm going to do the bottom and let it dry, and then I'm going to pour some thin Q cell from the top so you can kind of lock it in place. Okay, fill, fill it all then, in. Yeah, and then I'll be able to glass the top of it too. Nice. Oh. All right, here's the first uh, coats of fiberglass here. This is just uh, filler, Q cell, and cabasil just to kind of start filling in the shape here. So here's the first coats of fiberglass. Got a little mat and combo in there. And some resin. Okay, so here's the first uh, step in getting the deck down. Put some marine plywood down and uh, got it screwed. Now the bottom of that you already glassed, right? They put glass on the bottom of the plywood. So they went ahead and pre-did this on the bench. Got a couple layers of glass on there and got it gel coated. So the hatch is built out of marine ply and you're laying it up with Looks like a uh, map. Uh, this is combo. I mean, co is that combo? Yeah. This is combo. It was first layer, it was mat. Yeah, that's it. So you got some mat and then combo. And another mat after this. You go through lots of those scissors? No, actually. You're able to clean no. them up and keep, yeah. keep using them? like a seamstress huh or I mean yeah. a, an upholsterer oh, there you go like Ed Schroeder yeah I remember him yeah okay so here's the shaft log all the webbing and fiberglass work is done ready to drop the engine in and hook up the transmission here's the uh, finished stringers extended stringers all the webbings on most of the glass work is done starting to look pretty finished up here uh, now we're working on the hydraulic system uh, probably make a video on just the hydraulic system on this boat. It's pretty complicated. Tim's been spending a few days down here working on all this. And we started roughing out the steering system. So we have our plate that we like to use for our upper uh, rudder shaft bearing and um, for the ram in place there. It's kind of pushed out of the way right now so that we can work on the hydraulics. So coming along.